Okay, so currently what we have going on is while we were dealing with the electricals on the floor of the bus, um, we noticed a unit on the left side, which we had spoken to our friend um, before who was looking at it with us and he thought it might be a water heater of some sort. Um, but the more we looked into it, it is a carrier transicold. Um, and we believe it's either a refrigeration unit or some sort of AC. Our AC doesn't work. Um, the front of the bus, we've been told um, by the last guy who we bought it from that four different mechanics had said that it's unfixable, which is fine because we were going to put external AC units anyway. Um, so we're just kind of deciding um, if we want to take it out or not, which will provide us with less weight, which is great. Um, but we don't know if it's worth it. Um, it is an expensive unit and if it can benefit us, we definitely want to keep it. So um, we just got to do a little more research into that before we do anything. Oh, we're making good progress. This is our first full day on the bus. So um, we're excited. We'll keep you updated, okay? This is that AC unit uh, that we were talking about. The dash AC on the bus doesn't actually work. Um, so we're not too worried about damaging that at all because uh, it doesn't work anyway but it is pretty heavy in here there are two fans and um, a place where a water co collector and some metal tubing that runs all the way through to the engine but also one of them loops around back to each other so if we could take this out and um, either change it to storage or find a different purpose for it that would be ideal however it does look like this might be a standard build for these buses so um, my job today is just kind of look underneath it do some research and see what we're gonna do all right so this is what I'm currently looking at you've got this whole situation just kind of tucked away under here and so we have this and this, which go towards these pipes. And these are the pipes that are metal and run all the way to the engine. And so originally we could just take it out because it was attached with these bracers here. Um, but it has been completely welded to the side. And this is just spray foam right here that they use to attach. But this is all completely welded. So we're probably not going to be able to get that off unless we had someone come out and do that. When we were doing the electrics over here, we noticed these pipes are these wire casings, which lead all the way over there and are connected to it. Um, so we wanted to get these out of the way because they are just kind of hanging there um, before we put the floors down so that we don't mess up anything. So that kind of prompted the idea of what are we going to do with this. So stay tuned while we figure it out. Um, when we were cleaning up the wires back here, there were a lot of hanging wires all on the walls. So we wanted to get those sorted out um, before we did anything and there was a lot under here that tape is holding some together that we are going to sort through um but once we were doing that we moved on to this right here and so this wraps around that metal pipe and it just kind of loops back into each other and it travels the whole length of the bus and so we needed to figure out kind of what that was, what its purpose was, see if we can remove it because um, for us it looks like a safety hazard. I mean, hanging down in the back right there. Um, but it definitely goes to these valves here, which turn into steel pipes that, um, from what we can tell, run all the way to the engine. When we take this off, um, you can see the pipes back there and what they connect to. Um, so a lot of this project is just kind of looking through things and figuring out what they do and it's not always the easiest, 
because there's not we don't have a manual and um, it's not very common for um, mechanics or electricians to know exactly what all of these different things are so <laughs> a lot of figuring it out by ourselves we're washing the underside of the bus because it's grimy so I'm going to fill up uh, Trevor's brother Dylan's minion bucket. Dylan is 17, but um, we don't judge. Filling this up with water and some regular car washing soap. Um, maybe, maybe not. Um, take a towel, water, sponge, and just get all the dirty grime um, underneath before you put the floors in so that we don't trap all that stuff underneath and it doesn't get all rusty. First thing before I start washing is I'm gonna take this electrical tape, tape off the ends of these hanging wires we got here. Get everything out of the way just so that, um, you know, nothing gets water all in it. Um, all right, I cleaned out about as much as I could with my hands, but we're probably most definitely going to have to bust out the pressure washer later. Um, cause yeah, it's pretty, pretty nasty as you can tell by my face. Um, but I did what I could and I took all the open-ended wires, wrapped them in electrical tape, just tried to make it a little bit safer and, um, so we could properly wash it out. Um, I took all the hanging wires and kinda set them up on the walls so they're not in the way. We don't have to worry about tripping on them. I zip tied the loose pipes and the wires that we did take care of that just didn't quite have a home. They are snug under there. And yeah, so it's going along. Slowly but surely, now it's just this monster that we have to take care of. And then we get started on some real deal stuff. So. You already know, I'm starting to do the bus. Yeah, I got my boy Ed here. <laughs> we just did the caulking. We uh, we did the whole back side. We did the whole front side. Got to do the other two sides. That's it. It's been a lazy day. The um, it's been raining the entire day. Uh, this is two days after I caulked the entire bus tire outside the bus, the front, both the sides, the back, every vertical, horizontal, everything. Um, I'm just seeing if there's any leaks. I was gonna wash it today, but it's raining, so. Might as well come in, but it looks good. It looks all good. There's my little pup right here. Barkley, Barkley. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's, looking pretty good right now i just don't think it's been raining hard enough to see visible leaks but we're gonna maybe two days from now it's thursday so saturday maybe even do the floors we'll see i'm just trying to figure out all the electricity all the wiring before i can actually like lay down the floors do the walls or anything like that what i did find though is that up here actually is all the uh, rotary Rotary gears from the door used to open like this and close, which is pretty cool. All this useless wiring, not too sure what to do. And the fuse box, gotta fix that. And then that whole line straight back here, all the way back to that mess over there. Just don't wanna destroy any wires that I need, so we'll see. Keep you updated. Trevor is mowing the lawn, so I'm not sure how well you can hear me, but right now I'm closing up the bus and I'm gonna take a pressure hose to all the windows and little crevices and everything and check for leaks. And I'm very hopeful, very hopeful 
that we're okay. Because that was one of the first things Trevor did was he caulked the entire outside of all the windows when we first got it. And we've only had one problem in this back window right here. And bless you! <laughs> and um, that, that has resolved since then. So, I don't think there's gonna be a problem, but if there is, I have the stuff to fix it. So, we'll see what happens. I found where it was leaking. And so I put my marine sealant on there. Unfortunately, we only have white, so we're just gonna paint it when it's done. Cause we have leftover black rustoleum anyway. So there you go. Work smarter, not harder. Hello, <laughs> I got boba. And so now I'm reflecting on everything. So, we have recorded a bunch of sporadic little moments throughout the beginning stages of this process. Um, it's our first real week working on the bus. Um, we both have very busy schedules. We're both working um, 40 hours a week. I only have weekends off. Um, so we're just trying to fit this whole thing into our schedule, but we wanna put as much time and effort as possible into this, um, this whole build. It's gonna be our home. So, <laughs> Um, we just want to make sure that we're doing this correctly and that causes for a lot of thinking. Um, like with the AC unit, it is a carrier transcold unit, which are notoriously pretty difficult to, um, to remove. And we are honestly not going to be using it or we don't plan on it. Um, but we have just watched too many people struggle and um, almost damage the electrical systems in their bus and the engine systems and just it's in a place where it's not in the way it's not hurting anybody um, we're easily able to move those wires out of the way to where they're not causing a problem so we really don't think that it's necessary to remove it at this point um, so yeah that might change but for now the plan is to keep it there and start working on the floors. I promise that um, in the next week or so, like the next couple of videos are gonna be much more organized than this one. This is definitely just our first time around kind of playing around with filming and everything. So um, we're working hard and we've got a lot of plans and so much help and support from all of our friends. Um, so we're really excited to uh, get going on this and build it into the tiny little home of our dreams so let's get going <laughs>